I have done various videos on Mamba architecture in the past days and today I am going to introduce you to this Vision Mamba. Now when it comes to these Mamba models, they are a new state space model architecture showing promising performance on information dense data such as language modeling where previous sub quadratic models were struggling. In this Vision Mamba, this has taken it to new level. So Vision Mamba or short as Vim introduces a bi-directional state space model for efficient visual representation. It has outperformed Diet with 2.8 times speed and saving 86.8% GPU memory for high resolution image tasks. Its code is also available and I will share the GitHub repo with you in the video's description. Also it has demonstrated notable improvements in ImageNet, Coco and also Add 20k benchmarks. If we go into more detail, we uh, realize that these state space models or SSMs with efficient hardware design that is Mamba have shown great potential for long sequence modeling and that is where they shine. Building efficient and generic vision backbones purely upon SSM is an appealing direction. And that is where this bi-directional Vim or Mamba vision shines. The way it works in short is quite interesting. If you look at this overview diagram, you would see that the researchers have shown that the reliance of visual representation learning on self-attention is not necessary. And they have proposed this new generic vision backbone with bi-directional Mamba blocks, which marks the image sequences with position embeddings and compresses the visual representation with bi-directional state space models. On image net classification and various other segmentation tasks, this Vision Mamba has achieved higher performance compared to well-established vision transformers like Diet, while also demonstrating significantly improved computation and memory efficiency. The results on various benchmarks, and you can see the results in this paper and I'll drop the link in video description that it has really shown a lot of promises around uh, splitting it into the packages and then also overcoming the computation and memory constraints on performing transformer style understanding for high resolution images and it has great potential to become the next generation backbone for vision foundation models. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. This was just a short introduction. As soon as I get my hands on the installation uh, stuff and a beefy system to get it installed, I will share that installation video. But hopefully this made some introduction, introductory sense that what exactly this Vim or Vision Mama can do. This is I think one model to watch out for the future because it could be a replacement or an alternative to transformer based architecture. Let me know um, any thoughts if you have in the comments and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as that helps. Thanks for watching.